So I think, I think the first thing that I didn't notice until I did was while we were uh, looking at the different mechanisms behind um, converting power from a simple human power into harnessing some other natural force or power and generating uh, generating the capacity or generating something greater than what a human being can do through like steam engines um, and things of that nature. And as I was walking through there taking pictures of these quotes that you know I was looking at these thinking man this fits right in. In fact here you go. Anyway, as I was beginning to take pictures of these individual signs and begin to see that there was a story being told in this museum, um, as I got to the end of this section about uh, the innovative nature of how we begin to harness, control, or manipulate power, um, I began to really, really realize that I was on to something more than what I was expecting to find in this museum. And so, as you'll see through some of these dialogues that I'm having, you'll see this, uh, this concept begin to um, take form and take shape. And we're certainly going to dive into uh, this concept uh, with power uh, much deeper. Um, that's not the point of this video. Um, really, we're just trying to open a can of worms and just see the very surface of what's inside the can. Uh, we're going to use future um, future content to really dive into the meat and potatoes of what we find in there. So, um, you know, look, be sure to hit the subscribe button up there. The only way that I can grow, that we can grow, is together. Um, and that takes the support, um, the support and, you know, your time. Well, I appreciate your time watching the videos. I hope that you find them enjoying. I hope that we're able to bring um, uh, entertainment value, but not only that, um, validations and you know, validations and inspiration is what this is all about. About telling the story. So um, anyway, know that this is a surface level walk through some very deep, um, very deep concepts that speak at the core level of our existence and uh, one of the most important ones is energy uh, power and um, you know what this is beginning to show walking through uh, this museum of innovation um, is that we as mankind have been attempting to harness and control something that we're not creating. We're not creating that energy. We're not generating that energy. We are transforming that energy from one form to another, from one form that we cannot control to a form that we can. And then we as human beings um, are deciding what the best uses and best functions are um, and utilizing, controlling this power. And so we're going to go way deeper into that. In fact, this is one of the three core principles um, that intertwine together to create all things. Um, so power, energy. Um, anyway, my battery died when I got to the end of that. And as I was walking out, uh, there was an exhibit that caught my eye on mathematics. And this is when I really began to think of uh, the structure of what uh, this particular video is about and how well that this may work to uh, you know, bring about a microcosmic understanding of something that is extraordinarily expansive in nature when you're speaking on universal level. So I went out and got a new battery. During my trip out is when I noticed that this wasn't necessarily an ordinary museum. It is actually the Henry Ford Museum of Innovation. And it wasn't until I was driving through Ohio, um, headed towards Missouri, that 
I begin to realize the reflectivity of innovation and uh, evolution. Evolution is God-driven, nature-driven, um, if you will, uncontrollable in a sense. And innovation is mankind's attempt at this evolutionary process. Sometimes we get it right, sometimes we get it wrong. But listen, even in the process of nature, not everything stands the test of time. In fact, nothing really in the material form stands the test of time. Nothing that we can measure, nothing that's taken shape. Uh, you know, if you really think about it, isn't power what it's all about? And our misconception and misunderstanding of what it means to need to create, generate, have, and hold power. This is a really cool section in the 